Hello, my friends. Well, it's the same day I just poured that um, Dutch pour that I ended up blowing out. I was just going to stop filming and rest the rest of the day, but I noticed on my table I had mixed up these paints for a cloud pour last week, and I wanted to let the cloud pour sit for a week, and so have them all mixed. Why not use them? So my colors are Viridian Green and Payne's Gray by Creative Inspirations. Um, Pearl Pistachio Green <laughs> by Arteza. And Light Violet Artist Loft. And then the Cloud Mix. I will detail it all below how I mix them. The colors are mixed differently than the Cloud Mix and it's a little complicated so I will detail it as always in the description box. This is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I've used these colors before, very similar colors, and I love the combo, so hopefully I'll get something pleasing today. And here we go. Start with the greens. Maybe some cloud mix. Payne's Gray. Light Violet. Okay, and here we go. Kind of a straight pour, little ring. Twisting the <clears throat> the wrist to get a little your interest, hopefully. And come on, I thought I had so much, I was concerned about the amount of cloud mix I had in there, and now, where is it? I don't want it to overpower, but I want it to do something, and I'm going to, whoop, oh my gosh, <laughs> that could have been a disaster. I'm going to lose a lot of this. You know what? I, I'm going to pause a moment here. I'm going to add cloud mix to my cup, because it's just not doing much. <clears throat> I have anything left? I'll scrape out a little bit of the what I have left in that beautiful um, pistachio, pearl pistachio. I don't waste any of that. Leave any of that in the cup. And then we'll go back to pouring this right in the middle. Nice tiny little <clears throat> ring looking thing in the center, hopefully. Mm. 
Okay, now I think I'll pause and let this percolate a bit before I tilt, so I shall return. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, the cloud mix is reacting nicely. I like the shapes of what's going on there. Um, but before I tilt, um, I do get asked frequently if I put a base coat down on my pores, and generally speaking, no, I don't. I don't feel it's necessary. But I have started doing a flow extender around the edges after my initial pour to help um, make it tilt better and you're less likely to lose some parts you want to keep. So I have here uh, leftovers from the Dutch pour I did, the base coat thing, so I'm going to go ahead and um, spread that around the edges. <clears throat> Flow extender can be anything, can be thinner paint because it's pretty much just helping this move around so it doesn't have to be the same mix and it doesn't have to be the same you know good color or anything because it's just serving a purpose but it's not going to be part of the design so and it's a good way to use up some leftover paints All right. Okay. I keep saying that and I'm I'm still futzing. All right. Let's move this thing. I'm just going to kind of get coverage on. Although that back, that it's kind of pretty. That um, blue kind of goes with this, <clears throat> but I'm not going to be leaving any of it. I like it. Some pretty things happening. I do love these colors together. Payne's gray, viridian, kind of a lime green. In this case, it happens to be the pearl. And what was the other one? Violet. All right, so now I've got full coverage. Let me look at the composition. I lost a lot of my Payne's Gray. So <clears throat> it's over here. I don't want to lose any more of that, so I'm going to bring that in a bit. Um, I'm going to sacrifice some of that. And then down here, I can do away with some of that. Oh, look at those fun clouds bouldery things. I don't know. They don't look like clouds to me, but the cloud effect.
I like it. I like it in the orientation you are now looking at. All right, I'm going to pause again and uh, see if that develops any further. I'll give it another 10 minutes and then I uh, shall return and we'll take a closer look. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and I don't remember what it looked like when I stopped before, so I'll have to watch and see if it changed much, but um, I don't think it's going to change too much more from this point on. So let me bring you in for a closer look. I quite like it. I just love that corner there. I like the um, paint's gray. The Creative Inspirations paint's gray is so beautiful. I'm liking the definition going on there. These puffy white forms. They look very dimensional, don't they, with the kind of shading of the other colors? Yeah, I think it's pretty. Well, my friends, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.